Alright people, welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so as you guys may know, um you guys know that the update came out a couple days ago with the gyro support and a lot more features. So I'm just gonna get into it real quick and I'll show you what's going on and all the stuff and how to change your gyro settings to fit your playstyle for each game and where to go to set it up and get it up and running, right? I'm also gonna show you a few more stuff in here that they also release for the system. Alright, so first as you guys may know, you could create shortcuts now for different tasks in the system. So you could set one for armor crate and for quick setting. So how I set it is for the key on the keyboard, it's control alt G, bring up armor crate, right? So when you go here, you go all the way back, I'll show you where to go. You go to settings. Once you get here, you go to keyboard shortcuts and this way you would set it up. So you got one for armor crate, you also got one for command center. For command center. You can set it to whatever you want, but offer it. They give you, they give you like an option that you could use, which is right here. For example, if you look here, it says example control out command C command center. I set it for uh control out C. So I press control out C and it will bring up the command center right here. Right. So that's basically it. This way you go to set it up. They also put CPU boost directly inside the command center. So you don't have to go all the way into settings to change it. So once if I bring up command center again, you go in here, you'll see right here, you could disable it, turn it on right here on the screen, right? You don't have to go nowhere. And that's a great fit because before you have to go all the way into the battery settings, you got to change the setting just to get it up and running so you could turn it off and on. All right, so next let me show you how to set up a gyro once you go back into command once you go back into armor crate once you get the settings you go to calibrate then you go here you go to gyro and this is where you would calibrate it overall just for the system you will press a then it's gonna do its calibration right here let us do its thing i mean you don't have to do this because i think it's already calibrated once you get the system but just in case let's do it off rip again so now let me show you how to do it for each game so once you get to the game you're just gonna highlight the game when you get to the game you just press x it will bring you inside well let me it brings you in here you go all the way down to gyro when you get to gyro this way you see the, all the good stuff right so when you get here you see the sensitivity dead zone and smoothing so out of the box it's gonna be down here so you set it to your liking so you want to set it up and then you go inside the game and see how it's moving right the dead zone this is a this you need this because whenever you're moving it there's like certain places like it won't be in effect so this will help you to negate that issue and kill all the dead zones but it's it's a game by game basis so each game is different so you have to go here once you put your sensitivity and then you go to the dead zone option you go there you gotta mess with this as well but you once you go in the game and you start playing you 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 will see exactly what i'm talking about and then you put this to your liking for each game some games it's five percent some games is like 20 percent i know fix the issue but all depends on your play style and how fast you're trying to play and how fast you're trying to move in the system the smoothness is good as well because it helps with the jaggedness Cause when you're in the game and you're moving it, it will like sometimes will like jump around. This helps you to smooth it out. So these three options, you want to make sure you come here and you mess with it, and you get it to your liking for that game. Next thing is you got mouse. For this game, is only as mouse, but then there's another option where it will show you as the analog stick. Some people are saying the analog stick option is better, but for Warzone or for Modern Warfare, the only option I'm seeing is as mouse. So that's the only thing you can rock with for that one. So you gotta set that and then you mess with it and then you get it to your liking. Just play with it guys, I'm telling you, it's, it's not that hard. Once you get in here and you just put the gyro sensitivity up, put the dead zone up a little bit and the smoothness up, go inside the game and just play and see what's going on. And then you could just come out and then mess with the smoothness and the dead zone. And then that, that, smooth out, that, that will smooth out your experience while playing. Let me show you how to configure your TDP for each game. It's the same as before. You just go on the game, hit X, and then get inside the profile and you see everything right here, right? 
when you get here you'll see operating mode ac operating mode dc ac is when it's plugged in directly to the power source dc is when it's on battery so for each profile you gotta do it separately and then if you're wanting to do an ac you gotta make sure your device is plugged in to set it up so you would go in here and then you could customize it and put whatever you want so if you want for each game modern warfare 3 you want it to run it as best as possible if you're trying to go 30 and up then you have to go back this is the way you you would select the tdp but you have to create it in the regular configuration right so you'd go back you go to settings and then you go operating mode unless you have to create it manually and then set it up right here and then you will go back into the game configuration then you go here then you will see the option right this is the one i did before i didn't name it but this is my my overall manual mode for 30 watts tdp so you'll set that for the game and then you will do the same for, for dc you go you create for each game however you want to run how much power you want to use towards that game and then you will come in here and you will select it and then that's how you do it you can also set your aurora sync and then your game visual for each game as well so that's a good option great option actually that is well needed also one more thing that i want to show you if you bring up the if you bring up the command center real time monitor once you click on that you could change between like the visual of how it look and how much information it's giving you so if you press this again it will change it and change it back to the original the one that i see most people are using is this one because it gives you way more information all right one thing i forgot to mention guys when you set up your gyro and everything it's this should automatically be in auto but you got to set your gamepad mode you got to set your control mode to auto if it's not working most likely it's in gamepad mode so you got to make sure that's in auto and then you should be up and running guys so the next thing i want to show you guys if you go back you go to settings once you get here you go to operating mode gpu settings when you come here it shows you all your amd stuff that you could turn off turn on right like your radeon super resolution you could offer turn it on from in here disable it if you are if you're using radeon image sharpening anti-log boost chill anything in here you could turn it on directly in here you don't have to open amd app anymore yeah that's basically it gameplay is coming soon i'm gonna do another video like customizing as i did before customizing the gyro to each game and then you'll see exactly how to do it for to smooth out like the experience and make sure you set your the sensitivity and everything the right way but only for a few games though as i said it's a game by game basis so each game is different stuff like that but if you have the ever right now you could go into gyro and set it up for yourself right now it's not that hard just go and make sure you use all the three settings i show you to smooth out the gameplay and make sure it's running as smooth as possible for you right so yeah that's basically it guys so remember to say guys thanks for tuning in hit that like button for me if you like the video if you don't like it then hit the dislike button it's up to you guys and remember guys sub to the channel if you want and remember to always say guys health is wealth peace and love i'm out and drop a comment down below guys and let me know what you think about this update and how has it been going for you all right thanks for tuning in guys